Yes, guys, this is your girl Latrice. And guys, I am here for an amazing video, guys. Yes, I am here to celebrate all of the members for Team Pink. Guys, I love, love, love you guys so much. And I totally, totally appreciate every one of you guys. Each and every one of you guys. I love, love, love you guys so much. So I just wanted to stop by and say thank you. Thank you for being the reason that I smile. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for your support and your kindness. Thank you for brightening my world. Thank you for always, always, always being there. Thank you. I want you guys to know that I wake up every morning with great, great gratitude for each and every one of you guys. I love, love, love you guys so much more than you can ever imagine. I just want to say thank you. The highest appreciation, guys, is not the words, but to live by them. And I want you guys to know that I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And I am thankful for you guys so much on a daily basis. So guys, without further ado, let's look at some of our amazing, what amazing, members guys of Team Pink. My name is Shelby Jones. Welcome to my channel. It's been a long time coming, but I'm here. I will be doing crafting. I will be doing hauls. I will be doing every day in the life of Shelby Jones. Stay tuned. Bye. Hi. As you know, I went to Michael's today. And this is what I end up getting for my haul. I got... Some goodies here. I got a stamps. I got ink. I got a bag of stickers. I got two things of paper clip. I got a sticker book. I got another sticker book. And most of all, I got a planner. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? She is so cute. I'm going to enjoy planning. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yes, guys. Welcome to Share Bright Light. So glad you joined me today. Today, 
We're going to go get something to eat. We're going to go look at some boots. Derek hadn't got his birthday present for mom and dad yet. And we're going to be talking about the fifth yellow light. So why don't you come with us? You're going to love it. The Bible says that if any man uh, doesn't know how to tame his tongue, his religion is in vain. It's like you, you can say whatever you want, but if your mouth is not producing life, then your religion's in vain. And so one of the ways that you can share your light, share your bright light, is by using gentleness and being consider consider other people as valuable they are so valuable you are so valuable you matter you matter to god you matter to him he, he gave his son jesus christ to die on the cross for your sin that you might be united with him and be one with him and forgiven and that you might spend eternity with him and he might put his spirit inside of you and so I just urge you to do that. Go to God. Say, God, forgive me for being rude. God, forgive me. Cleanse me by your blood. And, and Jesus will wash you. The Bible says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So as you go, I just encourage you to share your bright light and your words and your attitude and see others as God sees them as you begin to see how God sees you my friend amazing Hey y'all, hey. Welcome to my channel, Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my returning subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers. Honey, it is a pleasure to have you here with us today, okay? Today is our Crafty Reflections series. And in our devotional series, we are reading a devotional title, Stitched in Christ, a knit and crochet Bible study devotional. And it is written by the lovely Terry Ann Porter. And so this week, our chapter that we're reading is titled, A Cord of Three Strands. But before we begin, honey, do you have your crafty item? If not, honey, go ahead and grab your crafty item, whether it be crochet, knit, loom knit, latch hook, whatever you do, go ahead and grab your wonderful item. And if you don't have an item, honey, that's okay too. Grab you a cup of coffee, some tea, honey, and just relax as I share this wonderful, wonderful devotional with you today. Let's begin. Memorize Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse 12. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. Meet with a friend to spend time together and make more solid your friendship. While you knit or crochet this week, look at the stitches and how they interlock with each other. Seek out scripture referencing a close relationship with Christ. Memorize two of these. Make them a source of comfort to draw upon when you feel alone. How will you intentionally spend time alone with Christ and work to make that relationship stronger? Journal your thoughts in prayer. Thank you so much for your time and allow me to share this wonderful work with you today, honey.
Good evening, everyone. This is Julie from Julie's Crochet and Create. I'm here on this wonderful day to read to you out of Jesus Today by Sarah Young. We are on number 23, which is on page 52 and 53. Let me fill you with my joy and peace. They flow into you as you sit quietly in my presence, trusting me in the depths of your being. These blessings are essential for nourishing your soul. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So don't neglect this delightful gift. It is for all times and all circumstances, though sometimes you have to search for it. You also need my peace at all times, and I bestow it on you freely as you trust in me. Thank you for watching. And tomorrow we will read from number 24. And have a good evening. May God bless you. And be good out there. Bye, all right. Let's get busy, y'all. I just want to say, now, we was talking about yesterday uh, about excuses and how we all, you know, realize that we need to... Ooh, this arm getting tired. Let me switch on. How we need to um, do better with, with doing things in life. Say you got something as a goal or something you're trying to do, but then when it comes down to the nitty-gritty, when it's time to get that thing done, get her done, let's say, say we start to, to talk ourselves out of it. All right, y'all, this is a new day, starting line. Let's go. And remember Galatians uh, 6 and 9, it said, don't get tired in doing uh, what's good because if you if you keep it up, I'm paraphrasing, yeah, if you faint not in due time, we're going to reap. We're going to see the benefits. If I go ahead and start today with my healthier eating, my exercise, in due time, I'm doing what's good right for my body, right? So in due time. I'm going to see some results. Sometimes we want to see stuff too fast. We get in a hurry. But God is an awesome God, y'all. It's another day's journey. What you going to do today? What are we doing to show God that we're appreciative of the day that he's blessed us with? We talked about the present. The day has been. <laughs> it's a gift, y'all. It's a present. I've got to go. I've got to go to work. Got to stop by the store and, and get some more oil and stuff and, and juice old faith up. It's cold. It's 30 degrees here in Dallas, Texas. So if you're in colder temperatures, let's bundle up, buckle up, be safe, to God be the glory. And remember, it don't cost a dime to be kind, y'all. It's free, and it's freedom. And to God be the glory. So y'all have a blessed Thursday to all my Monday through Friday through Saturday, whatever workers, y'all. We about to, this this week, we, we, we winding on down. Today is Friday Eve, and I thank and praise God for that. Thank and praise God for your employment. And if you're seeking employment, remember, get up and act like you already got that job. Because when you get it, you're going to have to start getting up anyway, right? Amen. <laughs> I bless the Lord today, y'all. I'm God's chosen vessel queen. And this is all me. This is real. This ain't no nothing. 
So I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> Guys, now that you have seen all of these amazing members, don't you hesitate to go over and hang out with them. Go over to their channels and show them some love because I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Go over there and show all of these amazing, amazing members, guys, of Team Pink some love. I am so proud to call you my friend, my family, and most of all, members of Team Pink. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love you guys. And I cannot wait to talk to you guys again soon.